Okay guys, we're gonna do something a little different today. A lot of people has, have said, John, can you help me with my posing? Um, and I'm a little embarrassed taking my shirt off right now, but today I got somebody who's not. He looks crazy. So we're gonna take Josh Wade through some posing. There are a lot of things in here for those of you that compete that'll probably help you. So even if you don't compete, I think you'll find some of this pretty interesting, pretty cool. So we're gonna take Josh to a little posing um so just watch see what you think all right so we're going to start with our mandatories what you do in a contest is you do four to four quarter turns so josh is going to stand relaxed to the front notice how he's got his stomach pulled in he's got his sternum lifted a little bit more lift a little bit more there you go if you notice when he pulled his sternum up did you see how his plates or his abdominals plated a little better. Okay, now a lot of people will stick their arms way up, do that. Now, do you see how, see how long that made his torso? A lot of, you'll see a lot of people doing that. Now pull him back down, there you go. Okay, quarter turn to the right. All right, so Noah, I want you to zoom in here on Josh's feet. Josh almost has his feet going straight toward me but what you want to do is you actually want to face your feet a little this way, okay? So what we're going to have to do is Josh turn his feet a little this way. Now what that does is it pulls his hamstring out. It gives him more depth right here. So, there, that's going to give his hamstring more depth. So his feet are actually pointed toward me. Now another thing people do, kind of relax this part. A lot of people kind of relax that back lat, but what you want to do with this back lat is you actually want to pop that out too. That's going to create a really good V taper. See how that all sucks in nice and tight? There we go. Okay, quarter turn. Okay, now he's going to face the rear. So what he's going to do is he's going to pop his chest up. Again, you want to get your sternum way up. You gotta remember the judges are kind of, kind of sitting down a little bit lower. So when you pop your chest up, you tilt back a little bit, you show a lot more depth in your back. See, that's where the judges are gonna be. Notice how he has his toes pointed out a little bit to show his quad sweep, that's good. He's flexing his glutes. We're in the gym here, so I don't want him standing here in his underwear. But trust me, his glutes are flexed. Okay, now we're gonna do another quarter turn to the right. Now look at how his feet are positioned now. He's got those toes pointed, pointed the backwards way. So now he's got better hamstring depth again. Get that back lat out. There we go. Pull in your stomach. Very good. So look at the depth he's got right here, the big bubble, that's what you want. Okay, back to the front. Now we're gonna go through the individual poses. So we're gonna do a front double bicep. Really good. Everybody has a little different way they want to plant their legs, but Josh has a really good stance here. He's showing the splits in his rectus femoris right here. He's showing sweep. He's showing his teardrop over here. He's got good, he's got good lines right there. Plus, we just trashed our legs yesterday. Okay, now we're going to hit a front lat spread. This is probably Josh's best pose. There we go. Chest a little higher. There we go, a little bit higher. There we go. See how the bottom of his pecs are getting carved in? See how he's got his legs flexed? You gotta think from the ground up. Legs, chest. If you notice, he's got his shoulders sitting high. His shoulders aren't down. Now the other thing is, I want you to move your arms in like that, Josh. Now watch this, guys. Move them in real far. Just keep moving them in. Further. That can kind of make you look narrow. So now I want you to go back to where you were. Shoulders out to the side. Just remember guys, I'm super sweaty and pumped after a nasty workout. <laughs> so now look how much wider he looks. He's got his elbows out now. What a lot of people do is you'll see him just come in like this. And that's not what you want to be. You want your, you want your elbows out to the side and shoulders lifted. There, see, nice and thick and wide. Okay, side chest. Same thing with his feet. 
He's going to turn his feet and face away a little bit. Look at the depth in his hamstrings. Look at the splits on the side of his quad. Okay, now what I want to see. Okay, here's another thing he's doing great. He's got his wrist. What a lot of people do is they do this. Now look at how narrow that just made him. Now come back out. You see that? He just got wider. A lot of people like to bring that wrist all the way up. And the other thing is people will do this. They'll put their arm out like that. You don't show any thickness when you do that. If you want to look big, you want to look big in this pose. So you bring it in tight all the way on your wrist and lift that chest like Arnold. Nice and thick. That's what you want. You want a big, thick barrel chest like how Arnold had it. Delts popping out. Okay, side tricep. Josh hits it AKA Dorian style with the back leg, which looks great on him. He's going to pull in that stomach. We're this working hard when you're pumped. We're working him hard today. He's got the biggest show in the world coming up, so we're working. Now look at the depth and density right here. Absolutely crazy. Bend just a little bit of your legs. There you go. He's got the back calf. Give me a little bit more twist. There you go. Pull the stomach in. Right there. Okay, relax. All right, we're gonna give him a second here to catch his breath. All right, and now we got, we got a rear double bicep coming. This, is, uh, this was always, for me, I don't know why, it was always a hard pose to hit. Okay, first of all, look at his legs. They're perfect. What I see a lot of guys do, stick that right leg out real far out here to the side. I see a lot of people do that. It looks like a frog when you do that. It's not a good look. Bring that leg in, turn that knee out, so you show some quad sweep. Good hamstring depth. One thing Josh is, is uh, he's got to work on is he's really tight through the shoulder girdle. I would like to see him rotating a little further backwards, but he's real tight. We've got to work on that, but he'll get it done for the Olympia. All right, now we're going to do a uh, rear lat spread. So right now he's flexing his hams and his glutes. Remember, from the bottom up. Let's pull him back. Okay, chest up, big chest. Remember, the judges are down here. There you go. A lot of width right here. Okay, relax. We got two more mandatory poses. The hardest one to hit when you're tired is your ab and thigh pose. So we're going, to hit your, we're going to hit an ab and thigh. Now there's a million different ways you can do this pose. All your air. Hands a little bit lower on the behind your head. Now what I want you guys to do is point your elbows up. That's going to pop your serratus out. If you really get your elbows up, it'll pop this out better. Okay. Now we're going to hit a most muscular. There we go. What I want you to do, Josh, is start with your hands right here and just push your skin down on your abs. Actually, actually touch your skin on your abs and push down. Kind of stretch that skin there. Look how tight his abs look now. See how plated his abs look now? Crystal plated right there, perfect. Okay, relax. There's, there you go, guys. A little bit of posing for you with a Mr. Olympia competitor. Hope some of those tips help you out. Let us know what you think. We'll see you next time.